Welcome to the lecture, Developing Your Soft Skills, Recommendation for Immigrants. In this lecture, we will learn about the soft skills and why they are important, and the difference between hard skills and soft skills. So, let's pay attention to this lecture. Which skills are important? What we have here is a chart from online, and it actually portrays perfectly the different skills that you need as a worker and especially as a foreign training professional in order to evaluate your possibilities and integration in Canada. So the skills are divided into critical skills, work skills, foundation skills, workplace basics, and essential skills. If we continue to go deeper, we see that the critical skills, they are subdivided in academic skills, that deal with communication, thinking and learning, personal management skills related to positive attitude and behavior, uh, if you're punctual, honest, hardworking, responsible, adaptable, and teamwork skills, how you work with others. When it comes to work skills, focus on communication, teamwork, time management, problem solving, organizational learning, computer, listening, creativity and leadership. The foundation skills are more based on reading, math, writing, computers, English as an additional language or second language, verbal communication, conflict resolution, critical thinking, problem solving, and readiness for employment. The workplace basis, the competencies are for use resources, how to use interpersonal skills, how to use systems, how, how to use technologies. And your foundation skill is basic skills, thinking skills, and personal qualities. And at the end of the chart, the essential skills relate to reading text, the use of documents, writing, numeracy, oral communication, especially in English and French in Canada, uh, thinking skills, problem solving, decision making, job task, planning and organizing, the use of memory, how to find information, how to work with others, how to use a computer, and the continuous learning. So, this is uh, in, in the big picture, everything related to skills. Now, the right stuff when it comes to working, your academic skills, your personal management skills, and your teamwork skills. So if we go deeper, the academic skills, they are the skills that help you get a job and keep it, okay? The personal management skills, is this means of skills, attitudes, and behaviors to get the job. And the teamwork skills, those skills needed to get the best results. So that's basically the, the main focus for a person looking for a job, especially in Canada, that you need to evaluate for yourself and think how you can meet and improve those skills. Uh, one of the main skills will be communication. Here you see communication. You understand and speak the language of the workplace. and you listen to understand and learn, you read, understand and use written materials, you use the correct technical language in written communication. So this is probably for immigrants that need to master the second language, one of the official languages in Canada, that should be one of the main focus. Think, and you think crit critically and act logically to make decisions and problem solve. You understand and solve problems involving math, you use technology, instruments, tools, and information system correctly. You find and use special knowledge from various fields, for example, skill trades, physical science, etc. And about learning, you have no issue with lifelong learning. So, the academic skills is basically focus on these three things. When it comes to personal management skills, everything starts with a positive attitude and behavior, good source of thing and confidence, honesty and honor, a positive attitude toward learning, growth, and personal health, initiative, energy, and commitment to get the job done, responsibility, evaluate the ability to set goals and priorities in work and personal life, the ability to plan and manage time, money, and resources, responsibility to, for action taken. Adaptability, set more focus on a positive attitude toward change, Respect for other people's diversity and individual differences, very crucial in Canada. The ability to think, cough, and suggest new ideas to get the job done creatively. 
So, um, finally, one very important is the team work skills. When it comes to job, you need to understand and work toward company goals. You understand and work with the, the culture of the group. I need to understand the culture of the group. You plan and make decisions with others. You respect the source of opinion of others in your group. You practice give and take cooperation to get resources. You look for a team approach when needed and you lead when needed. So leadership also is important when it comes to teamwork. Then there's different type of skills. The hard skills are taught skills. They are quantifiable and are often learned in school through earned certifications or in the previous work experience. Hard skills are specific to each job and are often the basis of a job requirement. So basically, when you're looking for job requirement, you're going to see most of the time the hard skills spell out. You're also going to find soft skills that are non measurable they're subjective, skills that are not specific to one job or career. They typically speak to how well a person interacts with others. Soft skills are also called people skills. Okay? So you're going to need the two skills in order to succeed in Canada and get a job. I'm going to, based on this chart that I found online from the good, very good side, highly recommended the balance, you can see how they list the hard skills versus the soft skills. So, hard skills, teachable ability or skill set that are easy to quantify like proficiency in a foreign language, a degree or certificate, typing and speed, machine operation, computer programming, all those skills can be easy to quantify. And then you have the soft skills, also known as people skills or interpersonal skills. And they're most focused on communication, that's why it's important the, the, to focus on improving your language skills in Canada, even before you arrive to Canada. Flexibility, leadership, teamwork and time management, punctuality and organization, okay? So those are the soft skills. Now, when it comes to Canada, you here have some samples of hard skills list. You can have example of TESH hard skills like data mining, analysis, HTML, data uh, SaaS in cloud, coding, artificial intelligence, machine learning, or big data engineering like Python, JavaScript, Java, Excel, computer science, or hard skill in sales and marketing like SEO, same marketing, social media, outreach, outbound calling, uh, CRM, forecasting, or hard skill like in accounting and finance or mathematics, bookkeeping, IT, QuickBooks, analytics, everything, Microsoft Office, etc. These are just samples of what we consider hard skills. When it comes to soft skills, then you can f you can see the list of strong communication, leadership, adaptability, problem solver, listening, team oriented, and these skills are very important for you not only to get the job or the interview, but also they're being evaluated for you to progress if you get a job in Canada. So it's important to understand that soft skills are as important as hard skill when it comes to securing a job in Canada. And you can see the list here, so you have a very idea of what the employee will looking for in a, in a suggested manner. So enthusiastic, energy, strategy, thinker, attention to detail, driven, all those things that employees are looking for in, in potential employers, especially foreign workers. And this is taken from one of our favorite website, and it said that immigrants usually arrive here with 90% of technical skills and only 10% of soft skills uh, without realizing that it's a big obstacle. This is in their way to finding employment. So what immigrants have, soft skills 10%, technical skill 90%. While employers want in Canada, they're looking for 60% soft skills and 40% technical skills. So it's a very, very different expectations. That's why it's important for you to be successful immigrant in the meaning of coming to Canada uh, is to understand what the Canadian employers are looking for. So it is important for you to improve your technical skills, but also more important is to develop your soft skills. And the issue is that in most of the countries outside of Canada or the US, uh, we focus more on technical skills and soft skills like presentation, um, communication, 
are your secondary but in Canada it's totally the opposite you need to have a good graph of soft skills in order to advance and work with others and that is the uh, main priority for uh, immigrants coming to Canada so in a list you're gonna need communication skills presentation skills small talk and socializing very important in Canada you're gonna see that a lot in the workplace people like to socialize and small talk so they find interest especially if they're working together they can be related to job and also can be related to family but that help a lot leadership and initiative you need to be able to be a leader have initiative people look for that they appreciate that especially employers teamwork you need to be a team oriented person you contribute to the team always think about the team how to support the team at work conflict resolution and negotiation uh, you need to be able to deal with conflict some, at some point you need to be able also to accept constructive criticism the criticism in Canada is compared to other countries normally it's like a sandwich you get a good compliment and then you focus on the opportunity and then you finish with uh, motivation so don't write uh, the idea of the constructive criticism is to help you improve your performance as a team member you need to be able to accept criticism and be able to give also at some point but always in the positive way and business etiquette you need to know the behaviors dress code by manners that is important and especially coming to Canada and flexibility it is very important to be flexible when it comes to working in Canada so I hope you enjoy this lecture I will see you in the next one Thank you very much.